guys, it's Jonna. What up everyone, it's Stephen. And welcome to a very special musical of the month. Today I'm here. And I'm here. To talk to you about the musical Cats. Honestly, what even is Cats? No one knows. Let's just try to explain it as best as we can. First, let's talk about a brief history of the show. It was written by Andrew Lloyd Webber, and he based it off of one of his favorite childhood stories. The Old Possum's Book of Practical Cats by T.S. Eliot from 1939. He turned the poems for the book into lyrics, and thus the Jellicle Cats were born. Okay, but what does the word Jellicle even mean? Like, is that even a word? He actually pulled that word from T.S. Eliot's book. There was a poem called Pollicle Dogs and Jellicle Cats, and it basically means poor Poor little dogs and dear little cats. So the Jellicle cats gather every year for the Jellicle ball? Right, and that's where one of them is chosen by the cat Old Deuteronomy to ascend to the heavy side lair to be reborn. Huh? It's basically all of the cats introducing themselves and competing so they can go to cat heaven so they can come back as a younger and more beautiful cat. Uh huh. Yeah, it's a little weird. A little bit. Anyway, the original production was directed by Trevor Nunn. And choreographed by Jillian Lin. The extremely recognizable costumes were designed by John Napier, as well as the set. The show was first performed in the West End in 1981, where it stayed for 21 years and premiered on Broadway in 1982. Where it ran for over 8,000 performances until the year 2000. That's a really long time. Like, it was the longest Broadway show until The Lion King came along and crushed it, and it was the longest running West End show until Les Miserables passed it up. It is still, however, one of the highest grossing Broadway shows ever, and it's thought to have brought over $3 billion to New York City in revenue. It also won seven Tony Awards out of its 11 nominations. They won Best Musical, Best Book of a Musical, which actually went to the late T.S. Eliot, Best Original Score, Best Performance by a Featured Actress in a Musical for Betty Buckley's performance as Grizabella, Best Direction of a Musical, Best Costume Design, Best Lighting Design, basically they won a lot. Speaking of Grizabella, the most famous song from Cats, Memory, was actually based on a poem called Grizabella the Glamour Cat that T.S. Eliot actually thought was a little too dark for a kid's book. Andrew Lloyd Webber actually got T.S. Eliot's wife's blessing to use lines from this unfinished poem and a poem called Rhapsody on a Windy Night. And this evolved into the song we all know today. Cats came back to Broadway with a revival in 2015, and another revival is supposed to take place soon. And of course, there's the movie. Everyone is so up in arms about the movie adaptation of Cats. Literally everyone. I don't think it's bad, do you? I don't think it's that bad yet. I mean, the trailer looked good, so I'm gonna see it. I say we just all go see it and enjoy some mindless, fun antics and catchy songs. The movie hits theaters in the US on December 20th, 2019, and it has a great cast. Did you know that Dame Judi Dench, who plays Old Deuteronomy in the film, was set to play Grizabella in the West End, but had to be replaced three weeks before opening night because she tore her Achilles tendon in rehearsal? What? <laughs> So go see this movie for Judy Dench, and James Corden, and Ian McKellen, and Idris Elba. Wow, there's a lot of people here. And it also has a great creative team, including Andy Blankenbuehler, who choreographed Hamilton. For all you Hamilton stands out there, I know you're watching this. We know you are, so go ahead and see this movie, then when you're done, come back here and tell us what you thought about it. So that's a little bit of a backstory about the musical Cats. We hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to Jonna. Make sure to head over to Steven's channel in real life and subscribe to him too. Thanks for watching. Bye!